everybody, if my name is presented to her as it back should with be. Game of Thrones. So, whoa, um, here we go. This is right where I left off, and I'm glad it is. Ooh. Asha sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Ethan made this for me. So I take it this is your place. High Garden Brooch. Okay. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Who that? Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Okay. Okay. What a turn for the worse. Wonders Made by Man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Your brother's dead. I'm sorry to break it to you. I hope to see them all someday. Somebody didn't listen. Brazier? Is that how you say it? Brazier? Okay, don't elaborate. Um, is there something I need to be doing? Oh. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Answer that. Is there anything else I can look at? Oh, apparently not. Okay, calm down, Jesus. Uh, oh, I can't even look. Who that? Who are you? You a boy? Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cowboy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. 
You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. That's a really good point. Good night, my lady. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope to get to know you. Probably won't. I might die. I'm gonna cry. <sighs> You're so nice. Oh, hello. Who are you? Lady Marjorie. Oh. You're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come. There's something we must discuss. She's pretty. <laughs> I mean... From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. What does she want to hear? <laughs> oh, See if no. the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. That must be a really heavy door. Hi there. Or not. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Okay. Good luck. Wait, you're not gonna you're not gonna be my cheerleader? You're not gonna be my Oh, okay. <laughs> Was gonna be so worried. I was just like, no, I need the cheerleader. Guys, help. Is that a child? You can do this. Maybe. Don't pin that much hope on me, please. Oh, it's not a child. It's the way they were seated. Why does she walk so fast without me? Why can't I walk fast? Oh. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, oh, allow like me her. to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, your grace. I see. And yet... For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Mm. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. <laughs> Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did say their loyalty was unwavering. 
She has a talent for equivocation, yet I question what she really thinks. <laughs> Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. And I the Queen Regent, and Tyrion the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions, while in fact saying nothing at all. What? I... Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. If we pray... Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, but not if your house faces potential ruin. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Mm, Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? Uh, I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Who do you choose? I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. Hey, I don't like you. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. Sarcasm, please. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. I don't like but you. not very encouraging either. I don't like you at all. If you die. <laughs> Please. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Don't glare at her like that. Hi there. It's mighty scar you've I'll got. walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once. At the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crowd. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. Good. I don't like her. It was quite the first impression. I did it for Lady Marjorie. As you should. And of course she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. 
She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. Oh, thank you. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Hmm. Are you willing to risk that? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. I like you, pal. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Thank you. You're, 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 you're a true pal. I appreciate everything you're doing. What now? Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Yeah, I can tell. But at least it's over now. Eh, yeah, sure. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. It's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. That's... Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Mm. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? No. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Green of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was... rather disappointed by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once I know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Sure. It doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. You learn very quickly. Uh. Your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do. 
I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Go on. Ask. I received a letter from my family. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown... Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. That is no small request. Especially now. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene? Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady! Oh. King Joffrey won't like it! Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. What? Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Okay, I'm just gonna end the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been another edition to Game of Thrones by Telltale Games. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share your phone with the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.